it's really happening again, oh, our very own brother, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, you know, they get an easy from the G5. Now, Samuel Otom is speaking. Remember, I say we can don't make a um, river state tight. The guy of it, no, no road at all for uh, for river state. Nah, nah, uh, our very own brother, Samuel Otom, the governor of Benway State, does the uh, put his body join on, on, on ground, say, if we cannot do the right thing, you know, the right thing will not be done for him. So now the matter where they happen be this now. Now what thing they happen be this, you know. He said, I mean spite with Atiko. Uh, Otom predict the party that will win Benway State and says, you know, this is what Nigerians are going to do. You know, uh, we, we, our very own brother is trying his hardest, best possible, you know, to reconcile, but he's not meeting up with the terms and conditions given to him for the reconciliation process to begin. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. 2023, Amin's fight with Atiko, Autumn predict party that will win Benway State as a tightens grip for political parties. The Benway State Governor Samuel Otom has predicted that the People Democratic Party will win all positions in the state during the 2023 election. He urged the people of the state to go, uh, go all out and vote for the PDP in the forthcoming polls, adding that the All Progressive Congress APC has failed Nigerians and we must not negotiate with that in any way. Late Nigeria reports the governor said this at the flag off of the PDP senatorial campaign in Benway State, held in the Pavilion Square in a Jew local government area of the state. The rally had supporters from the nine local government area that makes up the zone. Addressing the party supporters and loyalists, Otom said, let me tell you that PDP is, a ser is in serious business in Benway State. By the grace of God, we are going to win all our elections. We are one indivisible body. That is the commitment we have to winning of our party. The PDP must work together we must be one and seen as one because apc has failed this nation and we cannot continue that way at all the declaration is coming at a time when benny state governor and the aggrieved governors in the party popularly known as the g5 remain at loggerheads with the party national leadership the g5 has resulted not to solve the as have resorted not to support the ambition of the PDP presidential candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, except Ayo resigned as the party national chairman and is replaced with the Saudanan. They, they argue that in the interest of justice, fairness and equality, all major leadership positions in the party should not be concentrated by Northerners. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And uh, every one of us can see for ourselves, and it's right, rightly, uh, you know, a matter of uh, serious concern uh, why we cannot allow, you know, people who have not, uh, who have no iota of concern with regards to leadership should get to the position. Because if we do, we are leaving ourselves, and we're not positioning ourselves well. Okay, we're, we're not positioning ourselves well. Okay, so this is what is going on, and why every single one of us. Okay, why every single one of us may ens we must ensure in every way humanly speaking possible that we do everything we can and get Nigeria right back on track. The issues and everything that is happening now are very clear indications that Nigerians, we cannot afford to leave ourselves unguarded. What do I mean by that? Let's go out there and let's vote for the right candidates. Let's go out there and vote for the right candidates. OK, let's not just uh, sit back and, and think that everything will fall in place. It will not. It will not. Eh? It will not unless we rise up, unless we do everything we can. Eh? Unless we do everything we can to bring this country to where it ought to be. The desire of this nation of Nigerians is that this nation become a better place. But what are we doing? Humanly speaking, what are you doing? What am I doing? What are we doing? Why are we allowing the same people over and over again? Why? Why are we allowing the same thing over and over again to be clad our judgment? Eh? What's going on? What's go Why are we allowing these things? 
So this is why, you know, we, we just need to begin to work at it. Do not allow the same thing over and over again. We just need to rise up to the occasion and do not hold down ourselves by bringing in wrong leadership. We can't allow, to, we cannot afford to have that. We can't. We can't afford to have that never again. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. Listen, my people. If we do not arise, if we do not stop this, you know, this thing that is coming on us and we allow it to continue, we will not like what will come out of it. The G5 are, you know, are, you know, stressing their own position in terms of what they want. And everybody is saying, you know, everything that is going on. But why are we, why are we as a people? not very, very, you know, concerned and ready to make a difference and ready to make a move. Why are we allowing the same thing over and over again? Why are we allowing that? So these are days upon us. These are times that we all need to, you know, get things done and put things in the right perspective for this nation to move forward. Halaji Atikwa Abubakar and his people, what are they doing to ensure that they make a difference? Atiku was vice president. What did he do? Why should we trust him? So these are some of the things that are going on and why we all again, every single one of us must ensure that we are doing everything possible to get Nigeria right back on track. We cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. We can't continue like that. Things must change. We must bring forth a new perspective and change the course of the nation. So at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place for every one of us. Our children do not have to, you know, look for greener pastures elsewhere. Not because they really want to go for just holiday or just, you know, relocate, but because of the, the state of the nation, that's why they are running off. Let's not do that. You know, there are some people that, be, that, that are destined to live abroad. But others will just, you know, go because there's no other, no other option. We don't want that, do we? So leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us. Please subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Let's do what is necessary to move us forward as a people. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.